I got a special guest for y'all today, man. Y'all ain't gonna know. Hey, y'all ain't gonna know who I'm talking about. Let me go check. <laughs> Nigga, we done got them caught you, my boy. <laughs> but you caught, boy. <laughs> y'all see the shirt, you know what I'm saying? Get your boy. If y'all want y'all want y'all a t-shirt, just like the video. You know, comment down below. But uh here you go right here, boy. That boy look like a million dollars, boy. <laughs> Going on, man. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy back again with another motherfucking video. Look, today I got somebody special to me. We grew up together, went to middle school and shit together. We wrestled each other in high school, went to different high schools, and now he. Doing I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. <laughs> Go ahead, tell him your name, man. Shit, my quiz. Everybody call me Quiz. What you do, man? Uh, right now I'm in the Navy, enlisted, E4. Okay, little E4, man, that little E4 <laughs> game, everybody know about that. Hey, if you're in the military, you know about the E4 game. Yeah. So, uh, what made you want to, like, once you got out of high school, and did you go to college? Yeah, I wrestled in college. Okay, did you get your degree and shit like that? Nah, I ain't finished. Why you ain't finished? Like, you feel like that shit was just... Shit, uh, a lot of shit, I got kicked out. Oh, shit, yeah. for it. <laughs> I want to do all my work and shit like that. Uh, I was an athlete. Yeah. Going to school for free. I want somebody to do my shit for me. They kicked me out for a plagiarism. Oh, hey. yeah. Shit. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm a full ride. I might not want to do my work exactly, either. You bro. feel me? I just want to wrestle, bro. No cap. Uh, what, what college do you went to? Uh, Broome Parker College. It was a, a private Christian college okay. in South Georgia. So okay. once you got kicked out, did it, was it just like, oh, yeah, I ain't about to do that work and shit. I'm about to go to the military. So how I went, so like, you know how, uh, you only want to tell your mama and shit. Yeah. So I got kicked out right in, like, right at the end of the school year. Yeah. Well, they let me stay to the end of the school year. So I'm coming home from college and shit. Like, it's the summertime. My mama don't know. Yeah. Shit. So I'm like, fuck. I'm going to have to tell her before this semester start back. So yeah. it was either. So I was like, I'm just be keeping on her and tell her. But I knew I could have gotten into another school type shit. So I gave her the option. Mm -hmm. So I told her, like, when I got kicked out, this happened, this happened. So I gave her, I knew I knew I could have gotten to another school. I wanted her to be like, go to another school. So I gave her the option, like, I can either go to the military or I can go to, uh, get get into another school. Yeah. Right on jump, she said military. Like, Dang. So, yeah. That's crazy. Because I feel like that's every, like, everybody know. Every black parent, it'd be like, you going to work, you going to go to school, or you join the military. Yeah. It's one of them three, like. Yeah. You ain't working. You better be going to school. Yeah. And if you're going to school, you still need to be working because they be tripping sometimes exactly. when the money ain't right, especially if you're staying at home type stuff. Exactly. I know that from experience. But, uh, okay, so when you enlisted anyway? Like, what year? Oh, shit. I'm in my, my third year. You staying in? Shh, ain't no telling, bro. I, ain't, I don't got no reason to get out, though. You feel me? Yeah. I like what I do, like my job. Shit, either. Yeah, what is your job? Shit, I'm a uh, aircraft firefighter. Aircraft firefighter. Yeah, so, uh, so you like it's like in the movie side shit, you know, like with the plane exactly. like be blowing up or exactly. like when the plane start you yeah. over that Exactly. Do that ever happen like shit. One it just happened. Uh like February first or some shit like that. A plane blew up or the plane just caught on fire. And the plane it, it was coming back to land on the ship and that shit hit the back of the ship and blew up. And that shit slid out. Luckily that shit didn't stay on the uh flight that shit fell off into the ocean though. But that was shit, the person like the pilot, he was in there, but he ejected and shit. Oh, okay, okay. You know that what I'm shit saying? Hey, blew up, though. Nobody was hard in that you know, situation. <laughs> you know, God forbid, you yeah. know. Like, what made you choose that, like, MOS and job? Uh, so, like, basically, like, with the fire and fire and shit, they, uh, they basically choose you for it. Like, they, like, with the Navy, you get to pick your job, but, uh, like, with the fire and and shit, you gotta, like, they, like, choose they you for select people exactly, type yeah. shit. So do they, it's like one of them things where like, oh yeah, we choose you because you're the best exactly, out of the best. Exactly, yeah. Okay, so like during, you know, like how training go, yeah. in your class, were you the best or was you like somewhere in the top 10, you feel me? Like top 10, you know, recruits and stuff like that? I want I want I want to say I was the best, but I was up there with them. I was up there with them. You know, like you know how our shit, uh, how our shit was like, uh, you if you if you getting ready for state or some shit like that, everybody yeah. training together, everybody practice together, yeah. shit like that. So you practicing with the other, best people, exactly, other other companies and exactly. shit like that. Yeah. yeah, and uh, dang, yeah, that's a that's a good thing to think about because I ain't even like peep that that we was doing the same thing when I was in the military. When y'all did do that, was it like okay, some of the people that you had met in you know re recruit training or whatever, you still friends with some of them now? Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. My one partner, his name Denny. 
Like we was in Guam together, and I just push up. He push up on me. I pull up on him. Like he, like some him. shit. It's it's small. Like it just it's really like an island. Just you you can visit. I don't want to live there. No type shit. Yeah. It's pretty as fuck, but it get old quick because it's so small. Yeah. Know? Okay. So out of. Hold on, you said three years in, right? Yeah, years. Out of three years you've been in, what's the best experience you had and the worst experience? <clears throat> so, like, uh, the best experience. Fuck. I be having a lot of good experiences. So, I'd probably say, like, the uh, the best one was, like, okay, so, yeah, like, the crash. Like, the best one was the crash shit when the shit blew up. Yeah. Because it's, like, uh... With firefighting, you got you do a lot of like uh drills and training and shit like that. But it don't be actual stuff. Exactly. Around. So then, then like all that, all the drills and all the training and shit, like a crash, like real rare and type yeah. shit like that. So once this shit happened, it was like automatic. I knew exactly what to do, how to yeah. do, it and shit like that. And time I was proud of myself. Type time to put the practice in performance. Yeah, exactly. So and that was probably like my my best my best experiences I've been in. Yeah, man. I see you be you be on uh Instagram. You be showing little parts of your life. Yeah. And hey, if y'all are watching this, I'm gonna drop his Instagram down below in the description. Yeah. So y'all can go ahead and get that boy a follow. He do be posting a lot of stuff pertaining to his lifestyle in the military. Yeah, yeah. And, hey, I ain't gonna lie. It's something you want to tune into. You might even make your own YouTube video. <laughs> yeah. Count, man. For real. Like now that you back, like how long are you back in? Like not back in Georgia, but like how long are you back oh, in shit. America? Uh, we ain't leaving for a good little minute. We ain't leaving for a good little minute. Mm. I I missed deployment twenty three two thousand twenty three. Oh yeah, you got plenty of time. Hey, you yeah. can make you a little YouTube channel going crazy, <laughs> man. Hey y'all, I don't know. It's on, it's up to him. I feel like his lifestyle, he can do that, and he'll get like a lot of a good community going, especially mm. in the military community for mm. real. So okay, also, what was the worst experience you had? Uh, my worst experience. Uh, shit. I heard that shit might be crazy. Okay, so. <laughs> all right, so yeah, I'm gonna. All right, so the ship life. That would probably. That would, I I can put that in there. So, uh, with the ship life, bro, it's like you living on a boat, everybody living on a boat with you, tight space, you know what I'm saying? Food be nasty, shit like that. You gotta, uh, live with people. You gotta be real close to people that you really don't like, that you're not used to, type shit. Mm -hmm. So, the, so the tension and shit high as fuck, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody mad and shit like that. So, like, uh, the worst, the worst experience. So, you know, you know, we from, shit, I don't know how many, how many, how many Caucasian people you had at McNair? They, uh, boy, it was about, about ten, maybe fifteen. Like ten students. But they would they would they would like kinda hood exactly. with Exactly. Yeah. So we ain't I'm not used to that shit. Yeah. I say you probably have about five at Tower. Yeah. So I'm not used to like, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. At the same time, it's like it's not it's not hard for me to get used to it or like yeah, I'm still treating regular that. type shit. This dude, he like basically told like told my whole chain of command that I was like uh racist. <laughs> Cause he said he said something. I think I forgot what we were talking about, but you mm -hmm. know, you gotta be careful what you say around with people like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially like uh being a person I'm in mean, and shit like that. Like I get a lot of love from like the chain of command and shit. Yeah. So folks, you know what I'm saying? They, hey. Exactly. So yeah, he basically told them told them people I was racist and shit. But I ain't really getting no trouble, like no shit like that. But I'm a good dude, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's how that's that's the look how I was. Like I was a good person. I was like trying to be the good marine all around. And it was like to the point where certain people was doing certain stuff to try to get me out of character. And then when I stopped, when I realized like that I want to achieve a certain rate and at a certain rate, you I ain't gonna lie, you gotta you gotta cut that friend and you know what I'm saying? You gotta separate that friendship from yeah. professionalism. So sometimes you gotta be a little cutthroat. Yeah. So it got to the point where I had to start being cutthroat with people I was cool with. But at the same time, I had to be more cutthroat to the people who didn't even know me. Yeah. So they wouldn't try me like that. Yeah. And it got to the point where people was like, oh yeah, he doing this, he doing that. Exactly. And it's like, Bro, you don't even, you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know me. And then, for you to say something like that, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you really about to make me act up. <laughs> I used to tell, I ain't gonna, I may be a little bit different for you, because I ain't gonna lie. I used to tell people, hey, this military stuff don't change me, bro. I'm still from Atlanta. Yeah. At the end of the day, like, when I was, a, like, a little PFC and stuff, I had stuff on one of my corporals. <laughs> but it was okay, he called me on my name. He had called me a bitch. Yeah. And then, it was like, he told me, he was like, he was like, hey, y'all get off work. Boom. We got off. It was like 16, 16, 30. Mm -hmm. That's 4.30 p.m. <laughs> so I go to my room. I get something to eat. I'm chilling. 6 p.m. come around. He called my phone. He said, hey, PLC such and such. What you doing right now? I'm on the toilet. I asked him because I like, you know, your corporal's calling. You know it's something important. Yeah. So I asked him, I'm like, you know, uh, good evening, corporal. You know, what's going on? He's like, we'll do. I need you to go to the shop and relieve the sergeant. I said, 
went to the shop. Everybody went home. What are you talking yeah. about? He like, oh, we got uh comms there. We got S6 comms there. They fixing the, the wires in the building. They fixing it. The... I'm like, nigga, what? Why they didn't do that during the whole day? They went to after work. Yeah. It didn't sound right. Yeah. So me not thinking and me thinking that sound fishing from my uncle who was in the uh, military. He's still in the military now. He like a colonel, major or something like that. Mm. Yeah, he told me, he like, yeah, sometimes if you be on that bullshit, they're going to try to fuck with you. I'm like, man, maybe because I'm the only black dude in the shop right now. It was yeah. like a bunch of Hispanic people, white folks. We had a couple of black people that been there, but I was the first, you know what I'm saying, new black little PFC in there. Yeah. So he like, I'm like, man, it's a little Hispanic dude telling me to do this. So I called my sergeant. I'm like, sergeant, such, corporal such and such told me to go up to the shop and do this. Whoop, whoop. She like, that don't sound right. You know what I'm saying? She like, she don't know nothing about it. I said the sergeant not tracking. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Chain yeah. command, you know, chain command, trick it down. So I'm like, this ain't right, bro. So I like, he blowing up my phone. He blowing up my phone. As my roommate, I said, let me use your card, man. Drove it to the shop. My corporal was still calling. I was getting mad at this point. Kind of like I'm already heading to the shop. And my sergeant was like, go ahead and just go out there, man. See what's going on. So he blowing up my phone, bro. I hung it up, blocked him. I'm like, bro, got to call. I, I answered. I'm like, bro, I'm already heading to the shop. I ain't say, bro, I'm already heading to the shop. I said, Corporal, I'm heading to the shop right now. He's like, you need to hurry up and get there right motherfucking now. I'm like, I ain't even trying to hear all that. Yeah. Drove, pulled up, sat there, relieved the sergeant. As soon as I relieved the sergeant and I sit down, the corporal come walking in the building. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, and he told me I could pull up in there like with regular clothes on. So then he like, uh, he walking up. He like, he said, what's, you know, good afternoon, good evening to the sergeant. I'm like, you know, I get up, you know, good evening, corporal. He said, why the fuck you go to the sergeant like a little bitch <laughs> and tell her that I told you to come up here? I said, I was confused. Yeah. I'm like, I just told you I'm coming up here. You know what I'm saying? I basically said, good to go. So yeah, I basically said, good to go. I'm coming up here to see what's going on. I come up here, I relieve the sergeant. You know what I'm saying? I said, you know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm processing it. I said, is he trying me? <laughs> is he? Try I feel like he trying me, bro. So like, I put my put my keys in my pocket. Said my Gatorade bottle down. I get the, you know what I'm saying? That little lamb swing. We about to just move. So I was like, swing. I was swinging my own back and forth. It was another corporate that had just came in with him. That was a black dude. Yeah. Sergeant Reed, you probably watching this, man. Hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You remember? You remember him? So I'm speaking my way back before he looked at me. He said, I mean, he said, hey, man, he said, you good, man. You go ahead, go home. We'll watch the building. I'm like, all right, man, I go. I'm going tomorrow. <laughs> but <laughs> after that day, I'm like, yeah, I'm not messing with that man, bro. Some yeah. people really try to get you out of character so that you can look bad and so you can never achieve certain stuff in your life, man. Don't let fucked up. For real. Yeah. Haters going to be haters, but they're your greatest motivators, man. Learn to ignore them and just use it as fuel to keep doing what you're doing, bro. Straight up. They be trying to stop you. Yeah. So uh, what? future plans you have like with the military and just like your life in general as far as goals i work for the government type shit. I got, i'm in the military but you know what i'm saying i always want to like have like other money coming in so like investing in myself more on it on the shit on the yeah. business shit like that have you started working on a business or you investing in anything right now uh right now like the little small shit i got going is just like uh making hoodies and t-shirts for my crew and shit like that you like got your own brand no i don't got my own i just i be using uh custom ink so like they, mm. they they know so like uh I would like they they cause me give me a price to make the shit and I just charge them charge charge everybody like ten dollars extra so I make like okay. ten dollars off of it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, hey, you could definitely turn it into a brand. Everybody you feel me? Everything, yeah. I'm just I'm just like I that's like I'm just not doing that since you got the equipment. Okay, okay. Like, so like, I'm gonna say, is thing. it like a name you put on? Like you know what I'm saying? Have you made a brand name or just like you just making nah, little stuff? I'm just like, making little shit. Like I'm really like just starting. Okay, like, I just okay. did like the first batch like last week. You be doing like, like research, camera. research and like you know like YouTube and stuff. Like I be YouTube and like how to edit better. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause I be trying to give y'all better content. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But uh, you do any research for like stuff like that? Uh, not really, no. Man, like on. like how I do my shit. It's just like uh, like I see somebody do it. I'm like, damn, bro. That's hard. Exactly. So yeah. like, I, if I if you can do it, I can do it too. So then I just try. It. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that, cause I gotta say, in like a few months, I might have to interview again, see how the see how the thing going. Okay. Like, but yeah, it's like uh, I want like a, I want like at least like six business, like different shit. Yeah, six, yeah. like different types of income. Exactly, yeah. like that. Yeah, hey, definitely, like try to build passive income, like stuff that's making you money without you having to physically work. Exactly, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Time in is time earned. I mean, time in is money earned. 
but it's also taken away from the time that you can have with your family and stuff like that. So basically, yeah, yeah. learn to invest in something that can make you some money on the back end while you're still kind of doing the stuff that you have to do in the front. Yeah. Do you got like any females, you know what I'm saying? A little love interest or anything? Like, or did you make any love interests while you was in deployment? Cause, you know what I'm saying? Everybody uh, know. You know how that shit go. I mean, yeah, I did cut it off, shit like that. Yeah. Right, right now I'm messing with this, uh, Mess with this young lady, she cool, you know, we cool, shit like that. Like, our birthday is like, uh, like right behind each other on the 3rd, she the 4th, August 3rd. Okay, okay. Her birthday on the 4th. Okay, so y'all like twin, little twins, little twin, 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 a, a four lifer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we be, we be vibing, we be vibing a lot, you know? Okay, is she in the military with you? Yeah, she in the Navy. She in San Diego with you. I was saying, we ain't gonna tell no no other information. They, you know what yeah, I'm saying? You know how that train of command is. Over it, for that's real. Right and this might be cut out, so don't even, don't even chew on all that, right? Okay. Okay, so how long you done here for? I leave this Friday. Yeah, so yeah. what you do? I came Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Oh, Sunday to Friday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn. I ain't yeah, want to be here too long, you know. Yeah. I was like, that shit do get boring, bro. Yeah. It just get boring real quick. Do you like San Diego? I love that shit, man. Like, uh, if the cost of living was so high, I'll, I'll move there when I when I get out, shit like that. Yeah. But, did they ever tell you, like, you might be going somewhere else? Or did they, like, try to keep y'all in that area? Because, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, y'all going on deployment in 2023 type shit. Yeah, so how that how the shit work? Like, uh, San Diego, that's like our home port for our ship. Yeah. So like we we gonna always pull back to San Diego in, in case they unless they change our home port. Type yeah. shit. So we all we always gonna be in San Diego. As long as I'm on this contract, I'm gonna be in San Diego. I think my homeboy out there. You, you know, Mike. Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. You be seeing him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He out there. Well, he well, 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 like I know he be at and shit like that. We ain't never linked up shit like that. He be doing his own thing. I be doing his own thing. Yeah, but. I was just about to say, he be, he be on the boat too, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, on the, he on a different type of shit with me though. But I definitely be uh, seeing on Instagram and shit. We be in the same area. Yeah, shit. man. He hit me up, I hit him up type shit. Yeah, I might definitely have to fly out there, see what San Diego talking about. That shit beautiful, you. bro. Yeah. That shit beautiful. How the base is, like? Uh, like what you mean? Like, y'all base. Like, is it a, it's a y'all on a Marine Corps base? Uh, no, nah, it's, it's all Navy. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's all Navy. Okay, okay. Because fucking, uh, oh yeah. For people who out there watching, I'm going to ask a really good question. So when you was going through training, what are the requirements? You know what I'm saying? Physically. Yeah. Like, like basic training? The basic training. Okay, so. Uh, you know how like, we got the PLT, CLT, like what's y'all? Yeah, on? so the shit ain't, it really ain't that, uh, it really ain't that. Too much like the I feel like the Navy and the Air Force shit like they shit really sweet. The Marines and the Army shit they shit probably the hardest. But our shit it just like you got to do like certain amount of sit up, certain amount of push up, uh, and uh, mile and a half run. That's in basic training. But I ain't gonna lie, mile and a half be killing me, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. But the thing about it, once you get out of uh, boot camp, you can either like swim it, swim the mile and a half. You can do it on the treadmill. You can do it on the bike. I always do the bike. You always do the bike. I always do the bike. Anybody killing it? Bike. Yeah. Man. Well, what's the time you got to get on the bike to get a purpose? So, so this the thing about it, but you gotta like uh burn calories on the bike. Um. Oh. For like twelve minutes, it's like a certain amount of calories you gotta burn for like twelve minutes. How, many, sweet, how, much, how much? is it? I think it's like I don't, I don't, I don't want to say the wrong shit, but I think it's like it don't it depend on how much how much you weigh on your body fat type shit. Mm. So I think it's like one a or some shit. You get like a, a good ass score or some shit like that. Okay. Okay. Shit, really sweet, man. So what you, you usually do, like, you said the bike? Yeah, I bike, do the push-up, sit-up. I think they're going to take the sit-up side and put planks in, though. Oh, yeah, they, they did that for us, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Planks is, but you don't get a, you don't get a full 100, 100 uh, score on there for us. Mm. Like, they change it like, you get 70. You get 70 for the planks instead of doing the crunches. Okay. And then pull-up, you still do the pull-up. But they ain't never said nothing about the running, but they make us still do that run. <laughs> and yeah. that's one thing I, three miles? I can see if it was one and a half miles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. Mary ain't got to do uh, three miles. That shit, though. Hell no. Yeah, but I'm telling you, because that turn around, boy, you be, <laughs> boy, I be walking that thing, boy. I be like, man, what time is it? I be, I be clocking my shit. So I'm like, 20 minutes. Yeah. All right, now I'm going to start running. And right yeah. like a little point five. Like, <laughs> that's it. Like, I'm chilling. But uh, I forgot about the, so in basic training, we got to do a uh, swim and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, you got to swim, you got to tread water, and you got to float. Swim ball type. Just yeah. Swim ball. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We shit do like that. that. That's that's pretty much it. That's all we gotta do. Was well, it like, hard? Was that hard? Okay, I know they be talking. Hell yeah! Some, I know they be talking some dark green marines. Man. And, you know what I'm saying? Dark, they be trying to say black people can't swim. I be proving them up for the wrong all the time. Exactly. So like, uh, 
So when in my boot camp shit, my basic training shit, like I was like the like the leader of my division. How how would that how, would they call that Squad shit? Leader. Okay, but our shit called uh our pop. Okay. Our pop? Oh, yeah. Okay. But uh, but yeah, I was the leader of my division shit, our pop. So I went first on everything we did, I went first. So mm -hmm. I'm like the, the first black dude to get in the water. <laughs> yeah. So uh so like it's like they take you on the platform. I wanna say that shit like 13 feet high, something oh, like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one you jump off. You feel me? Yeah. So if you don't jump, they push you. So I just uh, went to jump. So you know how, like, you're in the neighborhood, you jump in the pool. Yeah. And you can push off the bottom of it, come back to the top, and they got jumped in that shit. It was, it was no bottom. Yeah. <laughs> no <laughs> I, come to, I ain't had no push off. So that yeah. fucked me up right there. So I had to swim back up. And you jump, you jump in with somebody, like, right next to you, the tight shit. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm, how to do it. I'm grabbing on him, trying to trying to get up to the top. Get off me, get off me. Yeah. So so we had to swim to the uh, to the end of I think it's like a hundred meters. I think. Yeah. I know that that. Shit, it was hard, but I I did it though. Like I did it. Yeah. Hey, with that being said, I got another little story time. Probably sometime, you know what I'm saying? Hey, another time about <laughs> the swim qual thing that he talking about. Too funny for mm -hmm. real. Uh. But yeah, hold on, hold on. But at the end of it, uh, like at the end of the swim thing, like if you fail, they mm. send you to like a wall and you got to sit on the wall. If you swim, uh, fail yeah. like a swim, yeah, whole wall black. Everybody yeah, wall black. <laughs> I'm already knowing. They're like, hey man, this is supposed to fail. You got to retake it too. Yeah. <laughs> got you doing a little uh, remedial swim because mm -hmm. that would happen to me. Man, it happened to me on some lane jump too. Like I, was, you know, did they see y'all in the room where like I got to put on boots and stuff? No, nah, see, we on, we on, we ain't do that. Man, they sent us in the room. We had to put on our boots. And all, it was just a floor full of boots. Yeah. They said, y'all got three minutes. And they said, y'all got two minutes to grab boots and put them on. You don't know the size or nothing. Yeah. They were just, everybody running. A hundred, a hundred and some people bro, yeah. running in there grabbing boots. I had a size nine on. <laughs> on the left foot. I wear size 11. Yeah. And I had a size 13 <laughs> on the other foot. <laughs> Man, and he had a cut. He had a big gash on it. We go, uh, they say, you know, I was about to do the 25 meter, uh, Shallow swim. Yeah, see, we, we, we ain't swimming with the boots. We ain't do that. Man, we did that swim, boy. The boots started coming on. So I'm like, man, that shit, I tried to stand up and take it out. The nigga said, you failed. Get out of the pool. I swear. <laughs> I swear my foot touched the bottom one time. It was a dude on the way. He said, get up. Get out of the pool. Damn. And then they put me in remedial. Damn. Call, uh, they kept calling us iron ducks. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, these folks, they can't swim. It's always the dark green marines. Damn. One of my uh, drill instructors. Uh, he was like, man, y'all making us look bad and all that. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, you didn't give me no pointers before I got out of the pool. You didn't tell me he was going to tell me to get out of the pool. Yeah. Like, that shit crazy. Yeah. What's, uh, what's a funny memory that you had, like, in boot camp? Shit, the whole, the whole boot camp was funny. It was like, it's like the, it's like the best time that you never want to do again. Oh, yeah, no cap. Yeah. It definitely is. So, uh, the most funniest shit, let me think. It was a whole bunch, bro. I gotta think, bro. Uh, I ain't. I. I, I don't, okay, I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna say it. Uh, so most funniest thing. So like, it was like a uh, a person in my boot camp. I don't want to say too much because I don't want nobody. You know, it was like a person in my boot camp. She was like always like, cause, cause in my shit, I don't know if y'all do it too. Like yeah. it was integrated. It was yeah. females and dudes. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like the, the dudes go sleep on their side and the females sleep like right next door. Integrated. Yeah, my division was integrated. So That's like crazy. so like if we got shit to do as a division like like uh yeah like meet up go to child type yeah. shit we'll just we'll just meet up type shit so know. uh okay so yeah so in, anytime we had to do something she was in my division so she'd be like right behind me because she was like next in line type yeah. shit so uh so basically like she she basically like like lightning me type shit in yeah. the whole boot camp so like uh and like you know how she'd be right behind me yeah so like say we send that child. So she had to sit right next to me. Mm. She had be got down and rubbing on my leg, trying to touch my dick, all kind of crazy shit. For real? Yeah. So, but I had to, I had to, I had to, cause I wasn't trying to get, you know, you yeah, get, in trouble. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I wasn't trying to get fucked up behind that shit. So I had to cut that shit Man, off. I think the craziest, the craziest thing that probably happened, it was either between this dude, I think he peed on himself or he booed on himself. Bro, he was standing in formation. Yes, but that shit happened to me too. And bro. they were like, you beat on yourself? No, no, no. I, I, like, I, I, yeah. I seen the dude. I'm like, bro, what? It was funny because the dude, they, you know, I was saying our drill instructors had to stand on line. They're like, don't nobody move. Bro, that's the exact they, same they, they shit, like, bro. nobody go to the bathroom. I stand right there. And I stand right the boy like, this crew has to go back. He's like, I don't give a damn. <laughs> but he started peeing. But everybody like, 
I just seen like some, you know, like in the movies, like yeah. when the water starts. Yeah. Like, it was like that. And I said, <laughs> I said, ain't no way he's over here peeing on himself, bro. <laughs> They were like, they were like, man, what the fuck? Like, what's wrong with you, man? He's like, yeah. he's like, this your crew can hold. They're like, bro, just go to the bathroom. Really, I go to the bathroom. I'm like, this. shit, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> I, I, I was just like, shit, I wanna see if it's gonna work. So I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom. He's like, you really about peeing yourself? I'm like, I'm about to do doo on myself. <laughs> like, ran up in that thing, and like I was boo boo, and I was like, mm. yeah. like, I think another time was uh, we had two recruits. It was one African nigga, and then this white boy. And he was always acting feminine, real like he's like, you guys calm down. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then sometimes he was like, hey y'all chill, I'm on it. But hey, once I heard that feminine tone, you can't you mm -hmm. can't switch it up, bro. So I remember there used to be nights where they used to be they used to always try to do fire together. I used to be like, what the fuck these niggas like going on? Yeah. And I remember one time I heard these folks when we about to graduate. He was like, the African nigga kept going up to the white, but he like, hey, you know, I need to talk to you. He talked to you. I'm like, what the fuck? But the African <laughs> boy had like a real Thick accent. He's like, he's like, I need to talk to you. Come here. I'm like, what the fuck? I heard the white boy say, he's like, all right, but this is going to be the last time. <laughs> I'm like, what? Because <laughs> they used to be uh, trash recruits. Yeah. Like, people who take out the trash. So, you yeah. had two people take out the trash together. They would always take out the trash together. I remember one morning we went out there. You were like, you know, four, five in the morning, dark as hell. They're like, trash recruits, go take out the trash. They're like, yes, sir. African boy, get them ready. <laughs> Trying to be the first nigga there. Little white boy, like, Walking, taking his time. They say, you no, know, 10 minutes go by. Man, they like, where the fuck these niggas at? The track here, right there, two yeah. buildings down, like right there, where they at? Man, as soon as he started walking that way, they came walking back from the other way. And he like, man, I, I don't see them. Like, he thinking they lost. But then he like, nah, they they uh, they back in the back. He like, man, what the fuck y'all doing? They're like, oh, oh, we, they, 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 oh, they couldn't find a trash can. Yeah. How you can't find a track can because it's the same track can every day. Yeah. So he was like, everybody was like, yeah, them folks, they <laughs> definitely busting, busting down. I don't know if it was, I don't know if Buddy would get in some, some little, I don't know. But I mean, <laughs> that was like, the craziest thing. Like, I used to catch them too. I used to always catch them when they trying to go do something sneaky. Like, I don't yeah. know, like, cut the, the, uh, the dude, the white boy bump, the feminine one. He bumped like the ad up to me. So I used to be down there writing my little letters to my mama down for the week. I mean, mm. mm -hmm. And I used to see like the African boys always like do a little tap or do a, like a little, you know what I'm saying? Like in like prison, like do a little sign or something. <laughs> and I just see his hand move. So I'm like, at my periphery, I'm thinking he's talking to me. So I'm like, and then he's talking to him. They say, no, they're like, oh, you know, sneak out to him. I'm like, oh, fuck. Hey, <laughs> ain't nobody seeing this but me. Like, yeah. I don't want to be a snitch. But that, mm, that was different, bro. Uh, What's something else? Do you got like any other passions that you would like to talk about to the people? You know what I'm saying? Any any advice you would like to give other military members, like young military members? Uh okay, so like my, my first job, my first ever job was cutting grass. I never forget. In high school or and I was like a little boy. I was like uh, oh. probably like 12, 13. Okay. Like shit. That was like my first job, cutting grass. So like that's that's one of the business I'm uh I want to uh, landscaping yeah so uh like that's one of my passions like cutting grass it's like uh she almost like paint a picture or like or like it's like cleaning up some shoes that were real dirty and then they come out perfect yeah you feel me yeah so like that, that's one of my passions definitely one of the business I open up I think my passion always been like YouTube because before I started doing this channel. I used to have this channel. I used to be making dancing videos. I used to love the dance. I used to be in the club like every weekend. Yeah. Man, she eat like, Ugh. but then I just like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to do dancing videos all my life. I do want to build some stuff. And I used to try to sit here and create skits with one of my homeboys. But the thing was, we never had a cameraman. We never had the, the certain type of equipment. And even like right now, I'm shooting this on my iPhone. Yeah. A lot of people are like, you know, what's up with your quality? I'm shooting this on the iPhone, y'all. So y'all mm -hmm. can start from. You know what I'm saying? The ground. You yeah. feel me? It ain't about what you got. It's about how you use the equipment you already have, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like my passion always been, you know, I always been very tech savvy as a kid. I love electronics. I got my laptop back here. I be doing editing. I'm not editing. I'm trading stocks. I'm not trading stocks. I'm probably streaming on like, you know, 2K, streaming for 2K or something like that. I've always been around electronics because i love doing other stuff that's technical bro you feel me so 
I'm about, I'm about to link with some folks too, man. Work on some shit, but I'm gonna edit that out the video because I don't want niggas knowing that. <laughs> I want niggas knowing my next move type shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. I feel like you got anything else you want to tell the folks? Uh, man, whatever y'all doing, just give it to y'all all. And like, uh, at the end of the day, man, whatever kind of job you got, just just make sure like you making money for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Try to be your own boss. They need to be the goal for everybody. Like, to be their own boss to own some shit. Like you, you got a house. Make sure you own it when you get done with it. You know what I'm saying? Don't uh get stuck. Don't don't get stuck trying to uh pay off bills and shit for the rest of your life. Own some shit, then sell it to somebody else or rent it out to somebody else and make you make make that shit make you some money. Hey, major jam, bro. Yeah. For all y'all kings and queens out there that's watching this, y'all definitely need to take that and like let that resonate in your spirit and in your mind because. 2022 is really our it's really our year. You feel me? It's everybody year to win. And from 2002 on forward, you need to continue to try to set goals for yourself and accomplish each and every goal that you got set. You know what I'm saying? It's within. It's in you. It's not on you. You feel me? So without further ado, that's probably gonna be the end of the video. I'm gonna catch y'all next time. You know what I'm saying? Me and my boy, we about to go ahead and head out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's it. Your time gon' come, just to be patient. Your day one, even they gon' hate it. You stay on your